What's up, everybody? Welcome to Normieville. Well, we, we call you Normies. So in this video, I want to talk about the Golden State Warriors, and in particular, Jordan Poole and Draymond Green. Now, around September or October of last year, I believe they were in a practice on the court, and there was a heated, very heated altercation between these two gentlemen, these two individuals, in which Draymond Green uh, turned Jordan Poole's lights out for a few seconds, had him seeing stars, and then talking about the Big Dipper, if you know what I mean. Pause. But a lot of people were wondering what was said between these two that led up to that that uh, one here to quit, if you will. And now it has been revealed the exchange between these two guys that resulted in the picture that you see in front of you right now, as is a, uh, it's pretty legendary, by the way. But as you see it here from the Bro Bible, Draymond Green punched Jordan Poole after Poole bragged about hooking up with more women called Green broke, according to Cameron. Enemy spotted. Now, I will play the Cameron clip, the Cameron and Mace clip. They have a podcast together on YouTube, which is doing pretty well. And they talked about this and the rumors that were going around about what's actually said finally after all these months. And of course, Jordan Poole now has been uh, traded away and Draymond's contract is coming up or it's actually already up now. So everybody's wondering if he's going to stay with the team or he's going to leave. Jordan Poole's gone. Uh, Jordan Poole's actually unfollowed Draymond, but I don't want to say too much. Let's get into the article. It says here, we might have to, we, I'm sorry, we might have a bit more insight in the Draymond Green-Jordan Poole relationship that led to a bitter breakup. Last year, Green went viral when he was filmed punching Poole in the face during practice. Of course, I can't play because of the fisticuffs. The two eventually patched things up and played together for an entire season until Poole was traded to the Washington Wizards in the offseason. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Uh, I believe that they did not patch it together. I believe that they, you know, kept it professional for the season in order to, you know, of course, win and on the road to the championship, as every team does. But do I believe that uh, this situation, uh, they were somehow able to patch this up or put this behind them? I do not believe so. And, of course, Draymond Green has seniority on the team. Uh, they're going to get rid of Jordan Poole before they get rid of Draymond, even though I believe Jordan Poole was valuable to the team while he was there. In any case, he's with the Wizards now. It is what it is. Immediately after the trade went through, though, Poole appeared to unfollow Green on Instagram, leading to speculation that there was still bad blood between the now former teammates, as you can see. Now, in social media, of course, back in the day, if we you no know, didn't like somebody, we would just stop talking to them. And they would know that we weren't friends or it would just stay between us with no contact and no one would be the wiser. Of course, with social media now, if you unfollow somebody, it automatically triggers everybody in, 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 on, on the Internet. Oh, he just unfollowed this person. What's going on? What's, what's up with these two, right? And this goes for couples, teammates, uh, co-workers, whatever. Let's read some more. As you see here real quick, NBA on ESPN. Jordan Poole appears to have unfollowed Draymond Green on IG right after his trade to the Wizards. Easy talk me. Well, Money Green 23, no user found. Self-explanatory, right? In a recent episode of his podcast, It Is What It Is, rapper Cameron claims he was told that the Poole Green incident steamed from Poole's trash talk in practice. Like I said, now... If you go back and you listen, uh, I'm sorry, if you go back and know when you were in school, uh, back in the day, you'd be in the schoolyard, you'd be in the cafeteria or the library, and there would be jokes going back and forth between groups of people, maybe two people in particular. You know, everybody's talking about their shoes or their clothes or their hairline or, you know, the hairstyle of the female or whatever, right? They're going back and forth. And you know what? Something happens and you talk about their mother or their, their dad or something that's, yeah, uh, that they hold dear to them in their heart, right? And the next thing you know, somebody can stand their neck, somebody's getting a tray thrown out there, somebody's getting a book thrown, there's fisticuffs going on, and you're like, what happened, right? Somebody said something that hit home, and next thing you know, tempers are all over the place, right? That's pretty much what happened here, as you'll be able to read. Quote, from all the things I was hearing, 
They were saying there's reasons Draymond punched him in the face. They said the first day he told Draymond, I effed more women at Michigan State than you when you were there. Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. And then they were running sprints and he told Draymond, don't worry about it. You'll be in Sacramento next year. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. And then finally, then he told Draymond, why is your Twitter handle money green when you're broke and you're not going to get a new contract? And I'm sure as you watched in the video that you've seen several times, I will actually leave a link to it in the description box. This is where Draymond gets up in his face, pool pushes him off of him, and then Draymond comes back with the haymaker and you see Jordan Poole turn to freaking Bambi all, uh, right in front of your face, right? The, de the deer legs, right? The Bambi, uh, what's that, what do you call it? Uh, baby deer. His legs just get all blah, and he just instantly falls to the ground, right? So real quick, let's play this clip from It Is What It Is, and you'll get what Cameron was saying. Things that I was hearing him say, not guaranteed, but they were saying his reasons Draymond punched him in his face. They said the first day he told Draymond Green, you know, Michigan and Michigan State have beef. Draymond State, Draymond Green's from Michigan State. He's mm -hmm. from Michigan. He told That's Draymond. That's already a lifetime rivalry, right? Right. There. He told Draymond, I fuck more bitches in Michigan State than you, than you went mm -hmm. there. And then they was running sprints or something. He told Draymond, don't worry about it. You'll be in Sacramento next year. Then he crazy. told Draymond. <laughs> That's crazy. Then he, yeah, then he told Draymond, why is your Twitter handle money green when you broke and you're not going to get a new contract? And that's the one that broke the camel's back when yeah. you end up punching him in the face. So a lot of stuff. So that, that was see, a cover up then. That, that's what they're saying. And Draymond mm -hmm. couldn't talk about it. So it's a lot. Well, there you have it. I F more girls than you at the same college that you were at Michigan State, right? Or Michigan, whatever. And then he tells him, don't worry about you being Sacramento next year, which, oddly enough, Sacramento is one of the teams that uh, could be putting their name in the hat to uh, get Draymond Green's services. And then, of course, I didn't know that personally, honestly, because I don't follow Draymond Green on, on IG. But apparently, Draymond Green's handle on IG is Money Green. And, well, yeah, that sounds pretty funny. Money green. Yeah, money green. So you get the pun, right? But uh, in any case, if this rumor is true and this is what Jordan Poole said to Draymond Green, well, I have to, you know, from a personal, a person to person standpoint, nobody has the right to strike another person, right? We are, we learned, we learned about that this week, right? I'm not going to talk about that. However, as we say in the hood, you know, as most people say in uh, other uh, urban and other, you know, impoverished communities or even, you know, in the water cooler at your job, right? They say if you talk, shh, get hit, right? And so Jordan Poole was talking crap, talking smack. Draymond Green had enough. Jordan Poole was like one of these, like one of say one say that one more time kind of thing or say something else. And Jordan Poole said it. And the rest is history, right? Now, Jordan Poole is in uh, in uh, Washington. Draymond might be going elsewhere. But I did you, I, I tell you what, I bet you Jordan Poole won't approach Draymond Green like that ever again, will he? Bitch, ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. The rest is history, right? So thank you for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me, I'm just a normie here to bring the latest and greatest in sports news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this situation, this rumor. Funny rumor if you ask me down in the comment section. Please, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.